There's a lot of lights, blue, strobing. It's hard to see, but you're not afraid. Something is moving you, it feels good. People dance, it feels good. It's drum and bass. I just started in 93 and I just started making music. I, just, I don't know what happened, I just said, I, I can make this shit. I just love it, man. I, I just think it's the best thing that ever happened in my life, is the fact that I'm still here, seeing people enjoy themselves, man. I mean, drum and bass or jungle or whatever you prefer to call it, it's been going on in a long, long, long preparation. Drum and bass for me has always been a spectrum of the music. And I think the one thing that everyone seems to overlook, which is the main thing, is that it's a subculture, right? And there's only been five subcultures in the world, you know what I mean? That have made world music. Jazz, jazz and blues, you know, hip hop, reggae, Detroit techno, and UK drum and bass. Everything else has come from those things. I mean, drum and bass, again, has just, you know, it's, it's part of the offspring of rave culture. It does go back that far, you know? That huge mix-up of house music and techno and European electronic music and reggae, you know. And basically, the 90s have just seen the growth in various areas of all those hybrids. There's this constant fear with electronic music, like it's made by aliens, cold, and obviously, um, music done by computers or electronic, if people are complaining it hasn't got a soul in it, you know, the only reason is because nobody put it there. So I think it doesn't matter what music you do, at the end of the day, it's a human being expressing yourself. And if you've got um, a microphone or a stick or a sword or, or a match or, or, a, or a drum machine or a saxophone, it doesn't matter. Your, your soul will eventually come out if you want it to. Some people are coming to us for the very first time and they think Missing is our first ever record. And I think that's really good too, you know. You don't have to have a history lesson in everything but the girls who appreciate what we do. The whole process of remixing and collaboration is just part of the new music. It's, you know, and in that sense, yeah, I suppose it is a duet. You're sharing your ideas and, you know, you bring what you do to a scene and they bring what they do. no such thing as pure rock music anymore or pure dance music, you know. Those formats just don't exist anymore. They've all been around too long, so they've all just bled into each other. You get an incredibly heavy, repetitive, hardcore drum and bass track. And, you know, there's no song in it, but there's not meant to be. It's a bomb that's meant to go off in a club. You know, if you go to a Chemical Brothers gig or you go to The Prodigy, it's just about air coming at you really hard off the speakers. You know, it's just like a sonic assault. And I think it is a redefinition of what rock and roll's about. The Prodigy make dance music, you know. Prodigy make good dance music. But they make different music than we make, you know. The main point is that the only thing that everybody has in common here is they have nothing in common. And that that's what they thrive on, being different. So now there is new musical style in the making. And, and you've got the um, opportunity, because it's 1997, and you were born, you know, you're alive today, this year, and you can actually witness it and see it in the making. It's, it's very exciting. I mean, I just sense that America's well, I mean, I might be wrong, it might just keep going as it is forever and ever, but it feels to me at the moment like something's got to change. It's just got to change. I'm gonna f off and leave you. See you.